has the chance to get HDNet and is a wrestling fan uh, needs to needs to check out uh, Ring of Honor. All right. Um. Let's see, Andy. Actually, I'll let Andy on the phone. He asked a question on the forum, but since he's on the line, Andy, go ahead. You're on the line with Claudio. Uh, hello. Hey, Andy. Hi. Uh, um. My question, I think my question was how, um, just going back to the whole Kings of Wrestling tag team, how did um, that come about and what was it like tag teaming with Chris Hero? Uh, that came about, you know, Chris Hero uh, helped training me and uh, when I first moved over to the United States, uh, I used to live with Chris Hero and uh, we used to travel a lot. So it just kind of, you know, some people used to but using it as a tag team. I think it started in TTW as um, a group called uh, Few Good Men or Heroes Few Good Men. And uh, from there, it just kind of, you know, took a, uh, you know, it became a life of its own, and uh, people started liking it, and we, you know, started wrestling all over the place as Kings of Wrestling. Andy, uh, did you have another question, or was that it? Um, That's all I can remember. All right, well, if you think of anything else, just let me know, Andy. All right, I'm going to get off the phone. All right. Um, All right, I think I'm scary. I I, I don't know. That was was interesting right there. Um, One of our chat members, Vintage, has a question. How was the experience wrestling for the Ring of Honor title? I'm assuming he would mean the Ring of Honor world title. Um. You know, I had a chance to wrestle for all three Ring of Honor titles, and uh, I uh, even, you know, I held the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championship together with Chris Hero, and uh, it's it's definitely, um, you know, always a huge challenge. Uh, you're challenging for the belt and also defending the belt, and um, you know, because the, the Ring of Honor fans are so, um, Ring of Honor fans are so. Uh, I can't think of the right word right now. They're so okay. That's what I was talking about. They're so passionate about the product, you know, so that like you always, you always want to give your best. So um, that just, you know, uh, of course, makes the pressure be bigger, and um, you know, also makes you makes you want to de- deliver more. And for for a belt as prestigious as the Ring of Honor uh, World Heavyweight uh, World Heavyweight Championship, oh sorry, it's not heavyweight, it's just World Championship. Yeah. Um, you know, that's that's definitely. A big, a big, uh, um, a big feeling and a big challenge. Now, do you see yourself not, not to, you know, obviously, I don't want you to break kayfabe if you, if there's plans in the future or anything, but do you, do you see yourself holding Ring of Honor gold, so to speak, Ring Absolutely. of Honor belt in the future? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, good answer. Come on, come on. Absolutely. Um, I, I wanted, to, I wanted to touch base on your character that you play right now. Um. You you obviously you played you played a heel like the majority of your career that I've seen. Um, I, I really loved your heel when you were um, tagging. Uh, forget the guy you tagged with. Where you had the what was that? The guy I lost guy. you there. Yeah. Um, like I said, mm-hmm. I, I just seen you guys in Chikara and I think at a Ring of Honor show, and you played your the billionaire rich gimmick like to perfection. Now. The the gimmick you play now of being very European, it comes off on TV like you play it like outstanding. Um, what do you enjoy? What do you enjoy about playing a heel in wrestling? As that's what you seem to do for the most part. Um, I just think I'm really good at it. <laughs> uh, you know, um, I think very European is uh, very me. Uh, it's it, I have a lot of fun doing it. Um, you know, um, I'm glad it comes off well. Because that's what I think it does as well. Um, you know, I think I think it has a ton of potential, and um, you know, um, I think it 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 just it's just something that comes really natural to me. And uh, yeah, I don't I don't know what else to say here. <laughs> well, no, it it does seem like it comes natural to you, and that's just like, and it works so well. And it also helps me segue into the next question. In, in front of American fans, you can play that as a heel gimmick. Um, one of our chat uh, chat members asked, "How different is it wrestling in front of American fans instead of European fans?" I don't, I don't think I think there's a big, a huge difference. Um, you know, 
because they all want to be entertained. They all want to see good wrestling. Uh, it's just, you know, you have to adjust to little uh, bits and pieces of whatever cultural differences there are, of course. Um, you know, uh, very European wouldn't necessarily work. The same, like, if, if, if it works and it will work in Europe, it will just work a little bit different, so you have to tweak it a little. Um, but the big difference, I wouldn't say, is, is it's not that big as people may think it will be. Okay. Um, now, I have I have personally never been able to go to a New Japan or Pro Wrestling Noah show. Um, I, I've been to a Dragon Gate show in America here. Um, how, how, again, how, bet, how different... Right? How different is um, wrestling with New Japan and Pro Noah? I, I don't know if you worked for New Japan, honestly. I know you worked for Pro Wrestling Noah. Um, I did not work for uh, New Japan, so I couldn't tell you that. I was working for uh, Pro Wrestling Noah, and uh, in, it, it, it was tremendous. Like the first time, I was kind of a you know, call off guard. It's so different over there in, in Japan. The fans are very respectful. It's a whole different uh, side of wrestling, and uh, you know we have to get used to that first. Um, but it's definitely it's definitely a great honor and a tremendous experience. All right, um, take another caller here, Chris. You are on the line with Claudio. Ask away. All right, all right, Claudio. Hey. Um, say someone asked you if there's one match she had to see to see how good Claudio Castagnoli is. What match would that be? Oh my God, that's a good question. Um, uh, 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 um, I just list a bunch of them. I would say Mia Morishima from Boston, the title match. That was 2007, I think. For the, uh, that was when Morishima was the champion. Um, I would say maybe Mia Mike Quackenbush from the Ted Petty Invitational. That was 2006, if I remember correctly. Um, my match with Brian Dennis was from Canada, um, Northern Navigation. I think that was uh, pretty good. And then there's a recent one, uh, me and Brian Danielson in uh, Germany uh, for WXW. That was uh, 40 minutes, something like that, that I thought. I had to see it on DVD, but I thought that was uh, one of those. Or watch me and Brian Danielson from PWG, uh, the legendary headlock match. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah. That's cool. That's a great match. That's a great <laughs> um, match. I would I would like to say pretty much any match you watch will uh, you know entertain you and show you uh, why you should support me <laughs> and wrestling in general. I, I would like to uh, think that every ma- if if somebody sees me wrestle that they enjoy watching wrestling and um, that they will continue watching wrestling. All right. Um, I wanted to ask you as. You are a very popular indie star, and you make a living off. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it indie, but you know the term would be independent wrestling, as you're not on a national product. Though Ring of Honor is making strides to get yep. there. Um, how, how take our, our listeners into how, how difficult or how you know how hard the path is to to be to be an independent wrestler on the on the independent circuit nowadays. Well, I think it's it's tremendously hard. Um, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, professional wrestling is fake and blah, 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 blah. Um, I really agree with Ric Flair, and I've been using this quote a lot lately. Wrestling is the greatest sport on earth. Uh, you have to be in shape, uh, you know, 12, yeah, 300 and, how many days of the year? 365, right? Yes. Something like that. 365 days out of the year, you know, uh, 12, 12 months a year, every weekend, you know, we uh, perform in front of a different crowd, you know, every weekend, you know, at least once, 